What is up guys, my name is Talha and you're watching Gadgets is Fear. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you the best way to install stock MIUI in your Poco phone, Xiaomi or Redmi device. So all you need is obviously your smartphone and the smartphone should be charged up to 60% of battery life. That is one of the most important things so I just hope you won't mess this up. And one more thing which you really need is obviously the charging cable. So I have the original charging cable, you can get any charging cable you want so this is the cable I have. What are the things you need to be aware of? First of all, if you really want to get back your warranty this is the best video for you because i'm going to also tell you how to relock your bootloader and claim back your warranty because you all know this pocophone f4 has two years of warranty so if you can get that back it's gonna be quite good now one more thing which you need to be aware of is you definitely need a laptop or a pc to begin with so i'm gonna use the, all the steps in my pc you have to follow me very closely but once you are gonna follow me you are gonna love the process it's very very easy you just have to be a bit patient for like 10 minutes or so and then your smartphone will boot up into stock MIUI. That's gonna be so good. Let's go. First of all, what you need to do is you need to go in Google Chrome and search Xiaomi Flash. Now, once you have searched Xiaomi Flash, you need to scroll down, tap on scroll down, and then you are gonna be greeted with this option. Tap on devices and in devices search Poco F4. Like for me, it is the Poco F4. If you have any other Xiaomi Redmi or Poco device, you can search it and then you need to tap on the device and tap on download the rom and the latest is already ticked so you just need to tap on download scroll down and you will see we have a lot of options you need to see your region which is very important and you need to download the fast boot rom so for me i live in india and i want a fast boot rom so just tap on download to the right close all the ads and then you need to scroll down and you're gonna be greeted with two rooms actually so we have a dot zip file and we have a dot tgz file the file which we need for this video is actually dot tgz so do not ever download the zip file this is the file we need this is the mistake which many people do is that they download the zip file which is not important at all so do not uh, you know download the zip file download the dot tgz file and just tap on download full room now this will help your download to start but obviously it is a 4.7 GB ROM so it's gonna take a bit of time to download so by that time what you can do is actually go in a new tab and then search Xiaomi Flash Tool so if you search Xiaomi Flash Tool you're gonna be greeted with the second website okay let's go back this is the second website which has Xiaomi Flash Tool and here you need to tap on download so let me tap on download close the ads we have a lot of ads these days and tap on the first link and then you need to scroll down tap on media fire and then your tap on download <clears throat> now you will see that both the files are now downloading we have the xiaomi flash tool as well as the miui global roam so these things are going to take around 10 minutes to download so by that time you can just pick up your smartphone and this is the poco f4 by the way and it is running miui it is running pixel os right now we are gonna switch to miui very very soon so what you need to do is you just need to scroll down you know up go in settings in settings you need to scroll down go in about phone then again scroll down and find developer options once you have developer options you need to tap seven to eight times to enable it enter your lock screen password go back go in system okay let's go back in system in developer options and scroll down you need to enable usb debugging so here we have it tap on ok and once you have enabled usb debugging what you need to do is just you know connect your smartphone so here i have the original cable and this first looks amazing isn't it so here i have the original cable just connected to the pc so i'm doing it with one hand so that's why it might take a bit of time let's just connect it and there you go once it is connected you need to connect this cable to your smartphone <clears throat> now once the smartphone is connected what you need to do is you just need to see on your pc screen let's just wait for it to download now if you want your smartphone to know that it is connected or drivers are installed properly or not you can see that right now the smartphone is not recognized so what you can do is you can just like see that the smartphone is not showing up so you can go here go in this and where it says the smartphone charging you need to tap on that and tap on file transfer now if you will tap on file transfer you will see that your smartphone will be instantly recognized and now all the drivers are automatically installed so you don't need to worry about the drivers anymore you will see we have the internal storage as well so no problems there now you will see we just have to wait for these things to download and then i'm going to tell you what are the steps you need to do so let's wait 
Now, once we have done, you know, downloading all those all the files, you need to go in this PC, go in download section. Let's just go in downloads, and you need to extract the first ROM file to the folder. So just tap on extract. Okay. Just go in more options, extract to the same folder. Now this is obviously a 4.7 GB file, so it will take around five minutes to extract. But you know, after this, your process is very, very simple and easy. You just need to follow two, three more steps and you will be running MIUI. So once it is extracted, you just have to check, double tap, there you go. Now you guys can see we have the MIUI file extracted and on top you will see images. If you don't see that, you need to re-extract. Now go back, go in MI Flash tool, open it. And here you need to scroll all the way down and in the second last option you are going to be greeted with the application so just double tap on it and it will say extract all so there you go tap on extract all and this is a very simple process it will take around five minutes or so to extract so let's just wait for it to extract not even five minutes like one minute or so so it obviously depends upon your specification of the pc but once it is extracted what you need to do is let me just wait for it to extract there you go once it is extracted you need to scroll down and you will see we have all the files then we can just scroll up and this is the number one you know application you need to open it's called xiaomi flash just double tap on it and you will tap yes now once you do once you have done that you will see that this is the application it has opened now you need to go in select then once you are in select tap on downloads then uh, select downloads and here select the miui custom rom which is the miui global image and select it one more time munch global images and tap on ok then you need to tap on refresh and you will get an error now this error is very very common you will get this a lot of times so i am the only one who in youtube who is going to teach you how to get rid of it so you need to go in the xiaomi flash folder where you have you know just extracted the xiaomi flash you need to just right click here tap on new in new you need to tap on folder and once you are into the folder you need to tap log log just type log log press enter and then again you need to go in xiaomi flash tool and open it now you let me just resize it it looks a lot harder for the camera to focus so once we have resized tap on refresh now what will happen is the error will be fixed and your smartphone will be recognized. There you go. This is the smartphone. It is perfectly recognized. That is very, very good news for all of us. So what we need to do in our smartphone now is we need to enter fast boot mode. So for that, you can restart or even press power off and then hold the volume down and the power button at the same time. So let's just hold both of the buttons at the same time and boot into fast boot recovery mode. So make sure your smartphone is connected in this process. So we have booted successfully into fast boot recovery mode and the smartphone is connected perfectly. So now once we have done all of this, you will see that the smartphone is obviously showing up. You can tap on the refresh one more time if you want. And then here are the options. If you press on clean all, it will clean everything and the bootloader will be unlocked. If you press on clean all and lock, it will obviously clean everything, but the bootloader will be logged. So for me, I want the bootloader to be logged. So I just have to tap on flash. Now let's just tap on flash and you will see that the flashing will get started. Now this usually takes around 500 seconds. In my case, it took around, you know, 500 and uh, five seconds, but it depends upon the specification of your PC and obviously the speed of your data cable. And you remember that is the main reason I told you use a good data cable because this really depends upon the speed of your data cable. So I have done the bootloader lock as well. So right now you guys can see it's almost 505 seconds and all done. In result, it will show success and here in your Poco smartphone or any other smartphone, you are going to get the brand logo. Then this is actually erasing all the data. And after that, we are going to boot into MIUI. Now, this is a very easy and simple step of how to boot into MIUI. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe. The main reason why I wanted to make this video is because I got a lot of requests from a lot of my subscribers. That is, they wanted to switch back to, you know, stock MIUI after this. So that's the main reason I wanted to make this video to actually show you that it is very easy and it is possible. So if you want to now switch back again into stock, you know, into a custom room, then obviously you can again watch my videos to do that. But yeah, we have the my UI logo and we are just waiting for the room to boot up in like maybe two, three, one seconds. So 
it's actually quite exciting to go back to stock MIUI after using a custom room for about two three months so that's amazing so we are just waiting for it to you know boot up now one more thing I wanted to tell you that these types of videos take a lot of effort to make because of the main fact that it took around three four hours you know figure out everything and tell you everything in one place so if you are gonna share this video with your friends and families or maybe just put a story on it it will be very very helpful for me so yeah make sure you do this and it would mean a day for me and if you are new to my channel make sure you smash the like button and subscribe then that will be really good so now we are just waiting for MIUI to open in 3, 2, 1 and go there you go here we have MIUI 14 running in my Poco F4 that's it hope you like it I will see you in the next one stay happy stay safe thanks for watching peace out